to get ready to cut silage. Cranked right up. Some of y'all have been wanting to see that thing cranked. There you go. Nothing to it. <laughs> so, you can see on the side, my husband used to have a backhoe service. He's very, very good with the backhoe. He did railway maintenance for years. Contracts, work. Um, I'm not just saying that he's very good with the backhoe because he's my husband. I've, many people have told me that he could move a toothpick with the backhoe. Anyway, so this is our silage truck and we've got to put a tailgate on it somehow. This could be interesting. Today has been a nutso kind of day. Just a lot of things going on. So I so I have my flat tire. I took it, I got it plugged, or I don't know what they did to it to be honest with you. They just fixed it, that's all I know. And then I had to run to town. I need to get some groceries. I left my car charger in my bag that I had for the tractor yesterday. So I had to stop and get one of those because I also had to do a radio interview. Yes. Hello, whoop, whoop. Um, August 17th at noon, I think that's Central Time. August 18th at 2 p.m. Central Time. I'll be on Sirius XM on the Farm Her radio show. Y'all better listen. <laughs> it was fun, we talked about all sorts of things. Social media, YouTube, my story, lots of stuff, so that was fun. And then I ran to the grocery store and now I'm running home and I'm gonna make sandwiches. It's 1.07 our time. My kids have been in the field helping my husband uh, haul hay. So I know they're hungry by now. So I'm gonna run home, throw together their lunch, get to the field, see what's going on, see if I need to help do something and see what else this day holds. Just another day in the life. There's my people, they're here unloading. Oh, how fast can I make sandwiches before they head all the way back down to the bottom? Hello, Mac Tools. Well, I made the sandwiches in lightning speed, but I promised my kids that I was gonna stop at our little country store, Miss Jackson's, and get them a drink, and I forgot, so I just dropped off the sandwiches, and I'm going to get them a drink, because they've been working hard. <laughs> And they're hot and they deserve a Mountain Dew and a root beer I just I just can't remember all the things so this awesome little store right here country boys market is run by a sweet couple mr. and miss Jackson 
I usually refer to it as Miss Jackson's because she's the one that's in here all the time. Bless her heart. And they have fresh produce and they have like bottled drinks and just stuff that you would find in an old country store that you can't really find anymore. And it's my favorite. And I'm glad my kids have this place to come to. See? Like legit bottles. My girl wants a root beer. And he wants a Mountain Dew. I didn't want to put her on video because I have asked before if I could take her picture and do a story for a magazine. And she is, she's not about that. But I love this place and I love her. And now, these old stores are just like a thing of the past and you don't see them very much so I love that we have one there was one near me where I grew up and I just remember going in there and buying I can't even remember what that candy's called it's it's kind of like little peanut butter rectangle things anyway it's the same thing that my kids get here and um hit that pothole. Always do. And they're off again. Woo! Okay, so you've been hanging out with Dad and Wesley. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Good. What have you been doing? Just riding? Yeah. Were you riding in the dump truck? Yeah. You didn't ride in the tractor? Yeah, I did. Oh, you're riding both? Mm -hmm. Okay, Wesley said you've gotten two out of seven loads. Well, I knew this was gonna take a while. All right, finish your sandwich. You got your root beer. I think it was 90 bells. 90 bells all together, yeah. He can get, I can't remember how many he can get on each one. Do you remember how many he's getting on each load? Remember what he said? 13, 13 I think that sounds right. Okay. Okay, now that the people are fed, I am working on my hay video, which will have already aired by the time this one does. <laughs> oh, so much to edit. So much footage. I'm going to check on the guys hauling hay, see how that's going. And it looks like we might have some storms rolling in, which they've been calling for about a 30% chance. So, the plan was to haul until they got rained out, but that could be dark 30. <laughs> so, I'm going to check on them. Well, here we go. They must be done with the big field. They're done with the big field. Heading on to the last field. Look at my boy, driving that big 4440. He'll be 11 next month. And yeah, I just get all the feels watching my little boy on the big tractor. So I'm pretty sure my son is just basically moving the tractor around. My husband drives the truck and then he takes the tractor and spears the hay and loads it. And that's that. Another reason we had to put that, we call it tailgate on the truck. I forgot when he does this, we have to have to go up a really steep hill and he puts, he puts some dirt in the back of the truck so it doesn't slip going up because that's also been known to happen.
good at this and I'm not. I've tried a couple times. I've really got to practice. I should be in there practicing. But we're also trying to beat the rain, so I just need to practice on my own time. Pick that one up. To make more rain. And this will go on for a little while. I'm gonna count though. If you can get 13 on a load, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can get five more on there. It looks like four, eight, 12, 13, 14. It looks like he's gonna be able to do it with this load and one more. That's good. I think we're gonna be all right. I have driven the dump truck before a few times. It makes me a little nervous, but um, it's kind of fun to drive. I mean, like in the field. I don't really wanna drive it on the road. Well, I, I probably can't. I never have, so don't come telling me that I'm not supposed to be. I bet he's going to lift that one up. It looks, it looks a little droopy. Yeah. I was wondering about that. I think it got pushed over a little bit. There we go. So there's 10 on there and he'll put three in those little grooves and that'll make it 13. like Jenga. I mean, except not really, but that's what comes to mind. I'm going to walk back to my truck because he's going to be done and he's going to be ready to roll. Ooh, cloud cover cooled it off some. It's very swampy though. It's humid. Per usual in July in North Carolina. <laughs> Definitely just got bit by a big bug. And now more of the same. <laughs> Unload and stack. Well, it's not really stacked. Just put in this row. We do put some, some hay in the barn. And it's more of the same. Unload. Reload. Unload. Reload. <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking about a gun. Obviously I'm not. Sorry, I digress. going than normal and you can see it's starting to rain the boys got one more load I hope they can get it out I'm going to pick up pizza because I don't always cook and that's okay <laughs> This one?
Can you tell me what you're looking for? See how much is in it. Oh yeah, okay. Okay. Let's see the bottom down. I see the dents. That day is what Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Four more days gonna make a world of difference. And you want it what? You want it more dented? Well, yeah, but the fodder dry where it burn up. You got a place in there to look at it. Yeah. Two. No. Well, you should. This is all going to be silage, right? Yeah. The stalks look really small to me. Right here, it was day wet, so. Oh. Oh, okay. Hmm. Silent, you really want the stalks, so you don't have as much stalk in it. Yeah. I wonder if we'll see a coyote again. Lightning doesn't usually strike twice in the same place, though. So. But we do have these fun things. <laughs> beaver beaver territory a couple people said they didn't believe that beavers were doing this but my husband definitely begs to differ <laughs> how many years you been around 62 years and they do it every year <laughs> he said he followed the path down down here to the river and you could see where they're even taking them taking the stalk across the river and up the other side of the river so that's that y'all Wow, and now it's doing this. Sure am glad this is today and not yesterday. This might push back silage a little bit because it's supposed to... Oh, there goes a tree. Wow. How about that? I got that on video. We just got to see a tree fall in our front yard. <laughs> oh, goodness. And luckily it was on the other side of the fence. And it went the other way. How about that? They're all Jake's. A little turkey strap going on this morning. It's grind time. 
I'm gonna see if I can back this little bad boy out. I've actually never driven it. to go out check Bonnie do you want to stay here or do you want to go with mommy oh okay you don't want to go with me it's been such a hard morning oh okay I was wondering no mommy I'm in it for the long haul let's go Okay, 
Okay, that's done. That's about as full a load as I've done. I, it really can't get much fuller. Now, we'll back it back under the shed, we'll fill up the buckets and we'll go feed the calves. Lunch instead of breakfast. <laughs> Poor girls, we're here, we're just late. You're welcome. Sorry we're late. 